Hello and welcome to The Hugh Report, your weekly roundup of news, trends and a dash of gossip from the world of craft and colour. I'm Rav and here's what's been making headlines this week. All story links are in the description if you'd like to dig in deeper. First up, a big move for contemporary craft. Galleryist Sarah Myerskoff has transformed a derelict Victorian building in London's Mayfair into the schoolhouse, a space that champions craft against the tide of AI. This isn't just another gallery, it's a hybrid hub combining exhibitions, workshops and educational programs. The goal? To revitalize and sustain craft traditions at a time when so many skills are at a risk of being lost. And it comes at a critical moment in the three decades since Myerskoff opened her first London gallery. She's never had a more vital role in shaping what she calls the crafted arts. By choosing Mayfair, she's positioning craft right alongside fine art and design in one of the world's most prestigious districts. Some call it the craft equivalent of a design museum, while others worry the high-end setting could limit access to smaller makers. What are your thoughts? Will opening in Mayfair help elevate craft or will it shut out grassroots makers? Bamboo Labs is making headlines again with its Vortec H2C, a wireless nozzle swapping system that supports up to seven different colors or materials. The big deal here, waste reduction. Normally multicolored prints create what makers call printer poo. These huge purge blocks of waste filament, which each nozzle is dedicated to its own color, the H2C drastically cuts waste. It also uses a snap-in wireless interface, so swapping nozzles is as simple as changing a battery pack. Reactions have been excited, but also cautious. Some makers love the innovation, while others see it as a way to lock users deeper into the Bamboo Lab ecosystem. Would you invest in this kind of multicolor system, or do you think it's all just hype? Meanwhile, Elegoo might be preparing for his own move into multi-material printing. A new patent shows that developing an extruder that can switch modes from feeding, retreating, and idling with far greater efficiency. In plain terms, this could make multi-material printing more accessible without the need for complicated nozzle swaps or massive purge towers. Elegoo is often seen as the budget distributor, competing with pricier brands like Bamboo and Prusa. If they can deliver a cost-effective multi-material print, it could shift the whole market. Of course, patents don't always become products, but it is enough to get speculation rolling across forums and Discord channels. Do you think Elegoo can really disrupt the market here or will they lag behind the bigger players? And finally, retail giant Michaels has revealed its creativity trends report of 2025. The six big ones, the emotional support craft, gifting with meaning, getaway crafts, miniatures and visible mending, sustainability and upcycling. The interesting parts, these aren't about specific tools or products, they're about why people craft, comfort, nostalgia and the self-expression. It reflects what we're seeing on TikTok and Pinterest. Visible mending tutorials are everywhere and miniature projects are racking up millions of views. Expect retailers to be pushing them and these cyber themes hard in 2025. Which one of these trends do you see yourself trying? Miniatures? visible mending or emotional support crafts. Let's dive into our feature story, the rise of multi-material and multi-color printing. At Oak Ridge National Laboratory, scientists have been testing a multiplex nozzle system that can push multiple material through a single output. No stopping and no switching, just dynamic adjustment in real time. This opens the door to objects with flexible and rigid sections or opaque and translucent layers printed seamlessly in one go. Bamboo Lab is chasing the same vision, but in a very different way. Their new Vortec H2C takes a modular approach, snapping in nozzles wirelessly up to seven at once, each nozzle is assigned its own color or material, which means less weights and faster swap. Now here's, imagine printing jewelry where the cast flexes, but the body stays rigid or lampshades blending opaque and translucent sections without assembly. Efficiency, less waste, more usable filament and shorter print times. Accessibility question. Right now, this advanced tech is likely to show up first in labs and high-end machines 
before filtering down to hobbyist printers. And here's the gossip. Some insiders think that this could make AMS style filaments feeders obsolete faster than expected. If nozzle swapping or multiplex really takes off, the market of purge heavy systems may dry up. At the same time, brands like Elegoo are hitting at patents that could bring multi-material within reach of everyday hobbyists. The big question is, will it be Bamboo with its premium innovation or Elegoo with its affordable disruption that sets the new standard? For me, it feels like we're standing at the edge of a new era where printers stop being the single material machines and start becoming true multi-medium craft tools. But what do you think? Would you want a printer that does all in one go? Or do you prefer the hands-on approach and assembling and finishing? Quick one before we wrap up. Neon pigments are notoriously unstable. They fade faster under sunlight because of the fluorescent dyes breaking down quicker. So if you want your neon crafts to last, keep them away from direct UV or use a protective coating. And that's it for our very first new report. Which innovation excited you the most? The schoolhouse in Mayfair, Bamboo's new nozzle system or Elegoo's patent piece? Let me know in the comments and I'd love to hear your perspective. Don't forget all story links are in the description if you'd like a read. Subscribe so you don't miss out on next week's roundup of craft and color news.